Hi, I'm Jason, and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. Uh, in this section, we want to talk about the periodic table of the elements. Now, we've been talking about it in several sections up till now. I think I've even had you talk about atomic mass and atomic number and things that are listed on the periodic table. So I've definitely already given you the most important tools to really use that periodic table. But what we want to do in this section is kind of look at it as, as a whole unit and uh, really try to understand a little bit more about how it's organized. When we get way down deeper into the course later on, we'll go into this in a whole lot more detail even than what we're doing right now. But there's still some, some really, really cool things that we can learn just by looking about how it's laid out. Uh, so we're going to do that right now. So I encourage you to pull your periodic table out of your textbook. If you have a chemistry textbook, just open it to that. Uh, we'll have a graphic overlay here to show you some things, but it's important for you to pull your table out because on your test, that's probably what you're going to be using. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll look at the periodic table. Notice that, that every element has a uh, chemical symbol that's in bold letters usually, and it's right in the center. So we've talked about this before, H for hydrogen, uh, O for oxygen, HE for helium, uh, things like that. So that's the first thing you need to know, and that's going to come into play later when we talk about uh, chemical compounds because we'll be using these symbols, uh, like H2O, for instance. We all know that that's water. Uh, okay, after that, most periodic tables, if you look just above that uh, chemical symbol, you will see a number, and that number is the atomic number. That's the number of protons in the nucleus of this atom or this element and we've talked about that over and over again that every element on the periodic table has a unique number of protons inside the nucleus and that determines what element you're looking at. So if you kind of scan across you notice that hydrogen has has an atomic number of one that means there's one proton in the nucleus. If we scoot over to the right helium has an atomic number of two uh, and, and so on and so on. We could go down the way we could see that uh, carbon has an atomic number of six and oxygen has an atomic number of eight, for instance. So it's telling you at a glance how many protons you have in the nucleus. Okay, now underneath this uh, chemical symbol is another number that's almost always a decimal. It'll have a decimal point in it. That is the atomic mass. If you have a very old chemistry book, an older chemistry book, you might see it called atomic weight. But uh, typical, uh, it's, it's, it's referencing exactly the same thing, but most newer books call it atomic mass because it is really talking about mass. And so that is the mass in atomic mass units that we've talked about in the previous section. So those three things, the element symbol, the atomic number on top, and the atomic mass on the bottom, those are the most, uh, honestly, the most used and most important things that you'll have on your periodic table, and that is mostly what you're going